Hello and welcome back to our Mississippi State Bulldogs Dynasty in NCAA football 2003. Today we got the national championship game. We are taking on Oklahoma. They're 12 and 0 on the season. We are 13 and 0. This should be a fun one. Take a look at the matchup real quick. They have the number one points per game offense in the country, scoring six touchdowns per game. That's ridiculous. Number six offense. We have the number seven. Uh, they like to throw the ball quite a bit, almost 300 yards per game. They're number one in the country. This should be a pretty tough game. <laughs> We've struggled defending the pass uh, in quite a few games this season. So hopefully we can figure it out. But we shall see. We're going to take a look at some stuff around the nation real quick. And then we'll get into the game. And after the game, we will do the full off season. To lead up to season number nine. Go ahead and slap the like button, guys. Subscribe if you're new and join the Discord community. There's a link in the description below. All right, let's take a look at some awards real quick. Season awards, the Heisman Trophy was won by the halfback for Oklahoma, who had 17 rushing touchdowns on the season. And I'm really surprised we didn't get Malone on here, our wide receiver, who was just tearing it up this season. This halfback had 20 touchdowns. No way. How does he not win the Heisman? 2,160 yards rushing, 20 touchdowns? Good lord. That is absurd. And he had a touchdown catch. 21 touchdowns for this guy. Doesn't win the Heisman. Over 2,000 yards. Get out of here. So this guy definitely should have won it. Fresno State running back gets third. And let's see. UTEP quarterback gets fourth. 23 touchdowns. And Texas quarterback gets fifth. All right, offensive MVP, running back for Oklahoma. Man, this Rice running back just got, <laughs> he got screwed over. That is so crazy to me. And we got Damian Sanford on there. He had 16 touchdowns, over 1,400 yards. No Heisman consideration, of course, because why would we get that, you know? Crazy. Vasquez, the quarterback on there again. Best quarterback, Watson gets second behind Vasquez. Watson uh, had a career season as far as uh, completion percentage and touchdown to interception ratio was the best he's ever had, 26 to 9. And over 3,200 yards passing. QBR is best of all time, 206.2. And he also had a rushing touchdown and positive rushing yards for the second straight season. Southern Miss quarterback gets on there. Best running back. Man, I don't know how this guy doesn't win everything. <coughs> Excuse me. UTEP running back, 18 touchdowns. A lot of really good running backs. Ryan Malone does win the Bolitnikoff Award. Best receiver in the nation. He had over 1,400 yards, 10 touchdowns as a sophomore. All these other guys had really good seasons as well. Ken Perkins. Man, this is going to be a tough matchup. A lot of Oklahoma players on these award lists. Best O-line, we're never going to be on there. Rice had a freshman on there. What's his overall? You see on here? No. He's pretty good, though. What's going on, Hammer? My brother. What's happening, man? Just in time for the national championship game, buddy. Second ever appearance for the Bulldogs. And we got to face Oklahoma. So, I mean, look at these guys. Defensive MVP, they got two guys on here. Both of their outside linebackers. So, running to the outside with Sanford is going to be a little bit tough here today. How I'd be? I'd be all right, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm still coughing. It's been, uh, what's today? What is today? The 21st? It's literally been a full month that I have this stupid cough. 
But I'm powering through, man. Powering through. Best D line. Let's see, we got a guy with 13 sacks there. Six force fumbles for this guy. That guy had a great season. My goodness. Best linebackers. Of course, Coffee and Winters for Oklahoma again. Best DBs. Let's go, baby. Wow. Woodard didn't win it, which doesn't surprise me too much. The only thing that's surprising about it is that he won it two straight seasons. So he's not going to get a third in a row. Best kicker. We're not on there. This dude missed, <laughs> he missed 12 field goals, and he wins it. Get out of here. <coughs> I'm just saying, you know, our kicker, Rick Hayes, only missed three. So. Had to catch a game live? Yes, sir. You're going to edit, may or may not be editing a video on the 85 Bears. Nice. I like it. And we got fourth for coach of the year, I guess. I mean, everybody went undefeated here except for the UNC coach. I mean, look at these records. I mean, we look at our record, and we're, what, 88-20, and 20, and we're like, oh, man, we're so overpowered. Like, we just can't can't really lose. We don't lose a whole lot. But neither does anybody else. Look at these records. 80-24, and 74-28, and 63-38. And and so he's lost quite, quite a bit, but this is a good season for them. All right, let's look at the All-Americans, and then we'll get into the national championship game in the Rose Bowl. Our fullback, first team All-American. He had 508 yards, 11 touchdowns as a redshirt senior. Ryan Malone, first team All-American. That's so crazy to get a receiver on there. Got anybody else? I don't care about these other teams. I know Oklahoma's going to have the linebackers on here. Wow, the other outside linebacker didn't get there. That's crazy. That guy did have 100 tackles, though. Pruitt and Woodard, first team All-Americans. What? That's insane. I didn't think Pruitt was going to make it, for sure. Second team, Watson, Sanford both on there. Wait, so the Rice... Okay, Rice running back gets first team All-American. And this guy wins the Heisman. What? Like, what the heck, man? That dude got so robbed. <coughs> I'm just going to keep dying. It's fine. I'm really excited that we're not having to face uh, UNLV in the national championship game. I wanted to face a big team and, you know, give ourselves a, a really good test. All right, let's get through the bowl games. We'll simulate and look at all the results and all that fun, happy stuff. Memphis and North Texas go to overtime in the New Orleans Bowl. 17-10. North Texas gets the dub. Bowling Green and TCU in the GMAC Bowl. And TCU, 35-0. They blank them. So the Horned Frogs get a 10-win season. Mid-Tennessee State versus NC State in the Tangerine Bowl. And Mid-Tennessee State wins it 38-31. They're 11-2 to end the year. Nevada Bowl. Western Michigan blanks BYU 24 to nothing. Rice and Auburn. This should be a fun one. And Rice wins it 30 to 28. They win 10 games this season. They are so good. They are taking over Texas. San Jose State beats Akron in the Motor City Bowl. Oh, the Rice and Auburn game was the Hawaii Bowl. Uh, Miami and Washington in the Insight.com Bowl. That's tough. Miami wins it. Let's go. 35-25. Go Canes. ECU and Nebraska in the Houston Bowl. Nebraska wins it 28-21. Kansas State UCF in the Independence Bowl. And Wildcats win that 24-19. Oregon and Texas in the Holiday Bowl. Oregon wins 24-21. They finish 10-3. Texas 9-4. So Rice has a better record than Texas at the end of the season. Texas A&M and Penn State in the Alamo Bowl. And A&M wins it 35-21. Michigan State, Boston College in the Queen City Bowl. And the Spartans win it 21-16. They finish 7-6. New Mexico and Marshall in the Seattle Bowl. Marshall looking for a 10-win season. And they got it, winning 30-16. New Mexico finishes 6-6.
Buffalo and Miami, Ohio in the Music City Bowl. And let's see who wins that one. And it's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be Buffalo. 38 to 20. They finished 7 and 5 as well as Miami, Ohio. And of course, we have our game. So I'm just gonna simulate up to our game. And we'll go back and look at the results real quick. Fresno State loses to Florida State. 31 28 in the Humanitarian Bowl. Illinois beats UCLA 24 to 20 in the Sun Bowl. UTEP finishes the season 12 and 1, beating Syracuse in the Silicon Valley Classic 41 to 9. They killed them. <coughs> Louisville beats Air Force 41 to 10 in the Liberty Bowl. Peach Bowl is won by Georgia Tech 41 27 over Florida. Colorado State beats Notre Dame 35-28 in the San Francisco Bowl. Ohio State beats Georgia 24-3 in the Outback Bowl. And the Buckeyes finish 10-3. Colorado beats LSU 35-26. They finish 12-2. North Carolina loses to Pittsburgh in the Gator Bowl. After an 11-1 season, they lose the bowl game. That's, that's tough for North Carolina. Purdue beats Tennessee 31-13. Tennessee falling off a bit after that SEC championship game. Uh, instant classic, by the way. A Klein classic on the channel. If you have not watched our previous game, uh, you know, just go back and watch that right now. I mean, maybe not right now. After the stream. But top five game all time on the channel. It was insane. Virginia Tech beats USC in the Fiesta Bowl 32-28 to finish 12-1 on the year. UNLV completes the perfect season 13-0. They beat Michigan in the Sugar Bowl 38-23. Hell of a year from them. And Maryland also finishes undefeated. And they win 21-14 over Southern Miss. Both teams are 12-0 in the Orange Bowl. So, heck of a game there. Some would say UNLV and Maryland might have got robbed for a shot at the national championship game. But I'm glad they did because I think this is going to be the best matchup uh, of the entire, <coughs> entire bowl season. <coughs> As I continue to die. All right, let's make sure all of our sounds are on here. Audio is normal. And we're gonna go ahead and save it quick. Just in case uh, crazy things happen and power goes out, because it is like negative 11 with the wind chill here. I, I just want to point that out to you guys. I'm freezing. Let's see, at nine o'clock this morning, it was six degrees, real temp with a minus, oh, minus, minus 14 uh, real feel. Beautiful. Right now, it's, it feels like zero. So we're having a heat wave here in upstate New York. Also, Hammer, check out this graphic. Check it out. Wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Look at it. It's beautiful. It's moving. I've been doing it all season. I like it. I mean, it's really simple, but to me, I put in a lot of work for that, all right? All right, file saved correctly. Let's get it. Rose Bowl, baby. Oklahoma, 12-0. Mississippi State, 13-0. For the 2010, well, 2009-2010 National Championship. Let's see what they're going to wear. What are they wearing? They're wearing all white. We're going all maroon, baby. What's up? Playbook, Miami. Let's go. Who else we got in the chat? Jason the Honey, 22? Welcome, welcome. Green Bay lost the 49ers. They sure did. Tyler Rocky in the chat. What's up, Tyler? How you doing, buddy? Hopefully you guys are excited for this national championship game. The national championship visits Pasadena, California. And the Rose Bowl presented by AT&T. And the rain looks like it's going to make things a little bit slippery out there for today's game between the Oklahoma Sooners and the Mississippi State Bulldogs. And here come the Bulldogs. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler, and I'm joined, as always, by Lee. 
Corso and Kirk Herbstreit to provide you with all the commentary in today's bowl game. We're going bowling here. If you compare these teams on paper, they really look to be pretty equal. Kirk, what do you think? You know, I think in a game like this, you need to look at the big playmakers. Mississippi State is going to attack this defense in the air. And I'll tell you, this is the key to the game. If their quarterback has time to throw, he'll have a huge game today against that vulnerable secondary. That's a nice pick. A nice pick. Mississippi State can throw the football, and they throw it with precision. Watch for the ball to be flying all over the place in this one. They win this one big, Kirk. Well, thanks, guys, and it looks like we're ready for the coin toss. Let's go, boys. Let's get this dub. Oh, we're kicking it for sure. I'm not risking that in the national championship game. Can't do it. All right. Let's get the audio off here. Of course, it's going to be raining in California because why not, you know? And not only is it raining, but it is a downpour. Lions play tonight? Yes, sir, they do. Should be a good one. Hey, what up, John? What's going on, brother? Let's go, defense. Bunch of first team All Americans on the field for this contest. And we get a sack on the first play of the game. Let's go. And we have injured their quarterback on the opening play. That is kind of crazy. Hopefully, he can come back because I don't want to. If we end up winning against the backup quarterback, I might be a little upset. It's actually raining there right now, Hammer. That's kind of crazy. We got real-time weather effects in the game from 2002. What's up? And we get a sack two plays in a row. What is going on? Hey, what up, Preshlock? What's going on, man? What is going on with the defense right now? Two straight sacks? <laughs> what? I'll take it. They're down 14. Their starting quarterback is back in the ballgame. And a user pick with Pruitt. Let's go. Oh, we could not have started off this game any better. Let's go, Pruitt. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That was crazy. What a first drive from the defense. Harding, first team All-American fullback with the carry. Picks up four. Number three offense in the country, over 440 yards per game for the Dogs. Oh, baby. Damian Sanford, the true freshman, is going to dive in inside the five-yard line. Great run. Defense looking lost in the sauce right now. Rain might be affecting their change of direction abilities here. And we are going to strike first. Harding is 12th touchdown run of the season. Dogs on top. Man, this is what a hot start this has been so far. Two sacks, a pick. A big run from Sanford and Harding punching it in for an easy touchdown. <coughs> Extra point up and good. It's seven and nothing. Let's go 
boys. Where's this quarterback going? I mean, great throw, but where in the heck was he going on that play? That was kind of crazy. <laughs> I've never seen a computer quarterback do that before. Felt like I was playing, like, Madden online or something against somebody. Go defense. Quarterback draw. There we go. Barry. Oh, what a play. And Oklahoma strikes quickly. Oh, my goodness. They got some ballers, man. They didn't just back their way into this national championship game. They definitely earned their way. Not like we did with, uh, was it North Carolina? We kind of backed our way into a national championship game. Shouldn't have been there. Alright, seven all. You're in the first. Got ourselves a good game. There you go, Robbins. Good return up past the 30 yard line. Alright, back to the ground attack. Hey, what up, Gary? What's going on, buddy? Nice tackle. Second down and seven after the three yard pickup from Sanford. And they are keying in on the run now. Harding goes nowhere. We're going to have to throw it. Didn't want to have to throw it a whole lot in this. Oh, the rain. I do trust Watson, though. But do I trust myself? Oh, my goodness. He jumped that so quickly. Well, that was a really quick three and out. That's unfortunate. He runs in a pass. Gets us three yards. White on to boot it away. He gets a good one. And Caldwell gets crushed. Oh, no. There you go, Campbell. Nice return from Calderon. Oh, you got to go to work, Gary, on a Sunday? Come on, man. That's messed up. Not on the Lord's Day. Say it ain't so. gain on that play. Alright, we have no passing yards and they have no rushing yards. That's kind of crazy. Second down and ten. And they're going to lose about six yards on the toss to Calderon. Alright, I'm going to blitz. We're going to blitz Singleton here. Come on, Earl. Get him, brother. Oh, and you got a close tonight? <laughs> That's tough. Screen. And the third sack of the game. That's Singleton. His first of the day. We are getting after him. Down, 21 to go. Oh, we blocked one! We blocked the punt, boys! Let's go! This season alone, we have blocked two kicks. 
We blocked an extra point that won us the game against Hawaii. And now we blocked a punt in the national championship game. Get wrecked, Oklahoma. Get out of here. Clip it. Somebody. Hammer, help me out with that. Come on. That was insane. I knew we'd block one eventually. That was crazy. I can't believe that we did that in the national championship game. Of all games. Alright, second down and ten. Nice block. Sanford to the outside. And he's inside the five-yard line. That still just blows my mind that we just blocked a punt. Man. 89% in the red zone this season. And Harding up to the one yard line. You blocked maybe three punts. In all your years of playing NCAA, yeah, it's it's pretty tough, man. And the senior Robbie Ballard gets a touchdown in the natty, and we take the lead back from the Sooners. Also, if you guys didn't watch our first game of the season against Hawaii, you definitely got to go back and watch that one too. That was another classic. I really like the slider set that I have this season. The only thing I think I'm going to change for next season is kick power for for us. Because, I mean, we can't make past like 44 yards. I might try to fix something for for the computer running game too, but I think I have their running stats up pretty high. And they still can't run. I think it's more of a case of of them just not running enough. Like most games, you'll see the running backs. They'll have like 70 yards, but they only had like 6 carries or 10 carries, you know? They need to give them the ball more. They need to have more opportunities. Oh, you clipped it? Thanks, Hammer. You're the best. Vance only picks up a couple. Man, this defense is tenacious right now. You could say it's a uh, tenacious D. No? I'll show myself out. <laughs> it's still the first quarter. This has been such a fun game. High snap for the quarterback. And wide open is the running back, Calderon, up to the 50. Woodard just getting lost in the wash out there. We got all sorts of turned around. Now how do I make that clip a short on the channel, Hammer? That's what I really need to know. I gotta figure that out. There's some 10 for the Sooners, looking to throw it again. And he's sacked again. We have four sacks on the quarterback right now. That's Corbin May. I didn't even send him on a blitz. What's he doing? <laughs> God, my linebackers are going rogue right now, and I love it. Holding. And there's an overthrow. Second down and 23 coming up. You learn and then show me. Didn't you already know how to do it? When we had the HCU going? Or you, you just forgot? Second down at 24. Oh, he's wide open. Corbin, what happened, brother? Oh, no. We still don't have any passing yards. What's going on? Oh, man. And they have negative 15 rushing. It'll end the first quarter, finally. 
14 to 7, dogs on top. I'm gonna blitz again off the edge. And pressured again. And it's gonna be caught by Calderon. Oh my goodness. We can't cover the running back out of the backfield. Quarterback's making some great throws. I really want to blitz right here. High snap. And nice throw out to Perkins. Great sliding catch. Seven straight completions for Oklahoma. After that interception, he's been perfect. Toss play. And he's going to lose yards. He's going to fumble it. And he recovers it. Oh, my goodness. Man. Defense is making some awesome plays. Keep giving up some big pass plays, but that's all right. Loss of seven on that one. They're going to toss it out again and go nowhere. I don't know why they keep going with toss plays. I know the Calderon is fast, but my goodness. It's not working out for you guys, especially when I'm blitzing... I'm pretty much blitzing a linebacker every play. Third down at 17. They got to get to what the one yard line. Calhoun. Oh no, he gets mossed by Harding. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Extra point away from tying it up. Man, his hand was right there too. He made a great play. The receiver just made a better play. You know, I think we've only thrown one pass so far in this game. Extra point is up and good. 14 all here in the second. Our defense and special teams has been <laughs> the difference maker so far. We haven't really had a drive yet. Heck, even on the last kick return, we got up past the... 30-yard line. Not on this one, with Dale getting crushed at the 18-yard line. Keep the ground game churning. Oh, my goodness. Tight end just stopped blocking completely. All right, we're going to have to throw it here at some point. goodness. Napoleon Watson is injured. So both starting quarterbacks have been hurt in this game. Poor guy. Didn't even complete a pass in the, in the national championship game. Come on, Cletus. They're down to 14 coming up for the dogs. And nice deflection. We're going to have to punt it away. We'll figure out the offense. We've got plenty of game left. John White on for the punt. They got a good return last time. There you go, Robbins. Good tackle. snap for the quarterback. He's sacked again. Perfect blitz call. Corbin May brings him down. That's our fifth sack of the first half. I want you guys to know that I've had the uh, our defensive sliders the same for all eight seasons. 
but the fact that we're getting sacks right now is ridiculous. I've had the break block slider at max this whole entire series. And you've seen pretty much minimal sacks. Watson is out for the game. So we'll have to uh, ride with Cletus Pace at quarterback for the national title game for the last three quarters. Come on, Barry. Nice deflection. Got to trust in the defense. Fourth down and 16 now. They're going to have to punt it away. Zero yards per punt for Washington because of the block. Let's see if we can get another one. Probably not. Oh, we were close. Ron Hawkins at the 34. And up to the 35. Huge return. Big pickup. All right, the good thing about having pace in there is we can run the option a little bit. He's not very fast, but he's fast enough for it. There we go. Whoop. Oh, okay. To the 47. We'll take it. 60 yards for Sanford. Sanford will pick up three or four up the gut. Let's go fullback blast. Here we go. Good run for Harding. Extra block there by the referee at the 30. And we're down about the 29. Determined to complete a pass in this game. It's got to happen. Up top, back in the end zone. Malone. Oh my God! What a deflection! Man, these DBs are insane. That's incredible. That should have been a touchdown. DB got his mitt up there at the last second. You go Ballard picking up six or seven. The senior. They're down three coming up. And they are going to pressure everybody. Ballard stuffed at the line of scrimmage. All right, let's try a field goal. Be a 49 yard try. Or 39 yard try, rather. I did not get the accuracy. We missed it. Just the fourth miss on the season for Rick Hayes. All right, back out on defense. I don't know if uh, Pace is the answer at quarterback. We might go to Bond. He's the future of the program anyway. See what he can do for the rest of this uh, first half. We can't get a drive going or, or anything happening. We're going to go with Bond. Quarterback draw only picks up a few. All right, man coverage across the board. We're blitzing Earl Singleton off the right side here. Try to get some more. More pressure. We've been pretty consistent so far in this one. They're going to run as much clock off as they can. And we get to stop. Fourth down and three. We have 147 left in the quarter. I got crushed. Oh, we nearly blocked one again. Computer player that time. Oh, nice tackle. Good return by Hawkins up past the 40. 
We gotta do something here. Roy's open. First completion of the game. A sigh of relief. Like, oh man, we can complete passes. Oh, we're dead here, though. Whole right side of the line got bullied. I'm gonna try to hit him with this play action play. We got a big touchdown this season to Malone on this one before. We get enough blocking on the line here. And he comes down with it inside the 20. Gonna decline the pass interference, of course. Let's go option, triple option. First playing time Pace has had all season long, and Harding. Oh my, what a collision! These linebackers are just—they're just filthy. We do have two timeouts left. Quick pass, and Hawkins is going to drop it. That was a great throw. Let's go deep slants. Those might as well be posts. Roy Hawkins. And we're sacked. Man. That's unfortunate. All right, see if I can get the accuracy on this. Wasn't even close on the last one. I did. I think I missed this one to the left. No way. Come on, let's go. We got it. All right, we got the lead at halftime. Just forget that record right there. It means nothing. 17-14 at, at the half. We get the ball to start the third quarter. Let's go. I think we're going to roll with pace. Hasn't played all season. It'd be a great story if he can come in and help us win this. Good return by Robbins again. A pass to 25. Block, and we're going to go right side here. Sanford close to the sticks. Didn't quite get it. He's just so fast. Wow. Really, there was holding on that play? Because uh, <laughs> I didn't see any blocking. Man. That's unfortunate. <coughs> Alright, they are stacking the box right now. Hawkins. Got him! Inside the 30. That's what you get. You're going to put both of your safeties in the box. We're going deep. That's just how it's going to be. Alone to the end zone. Touchdown, MSU. What a throw from Pace. His first touchdown of the year. Huge. Gives us a two-score lead now. And 120 passing yards. Let's go. Hey, 
extra point up and good. Ten point ball game. 24 14. Wasn't this the final score of the Gators and Sooners national championship game? Ooh, perfect kick. Let's go. All right, we're going to keep blitzing. We had five sacks in the first half and a pick. Draw play. Oh, my goodness. Big time hit by Corbin May, who has, I think, six tackles on the game. Maybe seven already. Got Woodard covering the halfback one on one. And nice tackle by Pruitt on the draw play. Draw again. Three straight draw plays. This one works for them, though. They move the chains. Couple missed tackles there. Call their own. Uh, one yard rushing on six carries so far. Counter. Nice tackle by Woodard. Kind of torching us over the middle. Really good career from Cox. 83 touchdowns, 39 yards. Or 39 picks, I mean. <laughs> 39 yards. Imagine. That many touchdowns with that little amount of... What the heck? That was not a fumble? Hello? Did he not throw that backwards, guys? That was dang close. If he didn't go, if he wasn't in the shotgun right there, that was just a uh, under center play. That was definitely a fumble. Let's go, boys. Good tackle. Man, there has been some vicious hits in this game. All right, let's go cover two. Nice throw to Willis. Found a soft spot in the zone. Sat there. Too easy. Fullback. Inside the 10 yard line. First and goal Sooners. It's been a great drive from Oklahoma. Sure. I don't think anybody knew where the ball was over in the back corner. All right, we're going to blitz two linebackers, May and Singleton. Keep Salazar out in coverage. And Daniel goes nowhere on the play. All right, third and goal. We're going to blitz May off the left side right here. Big play. Oh no, he's wide open. And Barry whiffed. Man, the rain definitely affecting it. I switched to him and he just kind of <laughs> he kind of kept running. Momentum carried him. Sooners back within four points. 
Yeah, the left field just <laughs> kept Barry going. Extra point up, and it is good. That was a great drive. 12 plays, 80 yards, over three minutes off the clock. It's 24 21. Bulldogs still on top. Oh my goodness, Robbins breaking through a tackle. All right, Oklahoma. <laughs> They've only got three rushing yards right now. That's crazy. <coughs> oh, what a juke from Sanford. He's in the open field. Look out. Jukes again up inside Sooner territory. What a run from the freshman. He's got 104 yards on nine carries. Try to hit him with play action here. Up to Anderson, the tight end. He's got it. Inside the red zone. Maybe just outside of it. All right, Pace came to play, man. He was prepared. Pretty good numbers for his career. Fullback's going to get killed on this play. Yeah, maybe not. Okay, yes, he did. Yeah. Let's go, boys. Second down and eight. Up top. Back of the end zone, and Roy's going to drop the touchdown. Man. That is extremely unfortunate. I'm try to hit the freshman, Massey, across the middle here. And we got him, and I think he's short. He is short. We're just, we're gonna go for points here. Man, what a tackle to stop him just short. Rick Hayes' field goal is up, and it's good. He's two for three on the day. Gives us a six-point lead, 27-21, with 1:15 left in the third quarter. That might go out of bounds. Yep, that's fine. <laughs> that is okay. I'd rather that happen than a kick return touchdown. Play action. Wide open is Harding. He's gonna break a tackle and still going up to the 41. And he is injured, but he rubs some dirt on and gets back up. That was a great run after the catch. Didn't get a lot of yards, but showed a lot of passion and strength. Oh, boys. oh he's wide open. It's the running back again. They are utilizing him extremely well out of the backfield. Three catches. 68 yards. They are distributing the ball nicely to all of their targets. Getting all the playmakers involved. And that pass is overthrown. It's a little bit of contact on the sideline there, but they didn't call it. Second and 10 coming up. Pruitt's going to miss a tackle, but May cleans it up. Seven-yard pickup for Calderon.
final play of the third quarter. Play action. And he overthrows his target. That should have been an easy touchdown for Oklahoma. Get your fours up in the chat. Can we hang on? We're on top 27 to 21 from Pasadena, California in the Rose Bowl. It's been a wet one here tonight. A little bit rainy. And they're going to go for it, surprisingly. I don't know about this call. I would kick field goal because then he'd still be down by three. Come on, boys. Let's go defense. Get him. And I think he got it. Wow. Gutsy call pays off for him. Haven't been able to run the ball all game long. And they pick up <laughs> a big three yards. <coughs> Oklahoma trying to take the lead. Perkins has the catch at about the eight. Yard or two. And third and one coming up. My defense needs to stop. This is a, about a yard and a half they need to get. And they are going to get it again. Man. Great drive from Oklahoma. We're going to go option here. Pruitt with a huge takedown at the four. Just his second tackle of the game. I'm going to keep blitzing. Get him. Oh, what a run for the backup running back, Daniel. Oklahoma about to take the lead with the extra point. Sooners finally go over 300 yards of offense for the game. Extra point is up, and we hit the kicker. Sooners on top, 28-27. We are on our backup quarterback. Let's see what he can do. Oh, nice juke from Sanford. He's in the open field. Tries a spin, gets dropped at the 40. We go same play, left side this time. And there's holding as Sanford does pick up the chain or moves the chains, but doesn't count. First and 17 now. Just how we drew it up. And there's a catch for Malone. Picks up a nice chunk of change there. Actually got 12 yards on the catch. Ballard up the middle, moving the chains. Good run from the senior. Oh boy. Roy has them all beat. 
And he drops it. Oh, man. That's the second drop of the game. And that's a big one. That He could have scored on that. Ballard stuffed at the line of scrimmage. That's not good. Alright, they're down in nine coming up. <coughs> Hawkins! Oh, he drops it! Oh my goodness. What are we doing, boys? Oh, that's so unfortunate. Yeah, we're going to down this at the five. Good punt from Mr. White. Let's go, defense. Now we need a big stop. And we get the sack at the one-yard line. Oh, my goodness. Contreras gets his third of the season. Come on, boys. Let's get a safety. Imagine taking the lead with a safety right here. Counter. Oh, he gets the first down and more. Man, that is crazy. I'm not happy about that. What are we doing now? Now we can't stop him at all. Let's go Pruitt. That was a big hit. They gave him the first down on that. No way. Got to save our timeouts. Oh, come on. What the heck? I was right there for it. Well, that's going to be the game. Come on. They can't run all, all game long and now all of a sudden... That's all they can do. What are we doing? Let him score. Let him score. Still one, one possession game. That's the only shot we had, was <laughs> to let him score. Extra point is up and good. All right. Eight-point ball game.
Nice cut by Dale up past the 35 yard line. All right. Plenty of time here. Oh, Matthew's got him beat. And he's got it inside the 30 yard line. Those stats are not just for the season, that's for this game. Wide open is Malone inside the 10. And there goes Pace down the one. Oh, man. Oh, we got sacked. Dang it. <laughs> All right. We got two timeouts left. Two plays. Oh my goodness, you gotta be kidding me right now. the touchdown oh my goodness now we need two points man that was crazy he had to come back for it pace got destroyed all right what do we do here what do we do here is in for two. Oh my goodness. We remain perfect on the season for two point conversions. Oh boy. We're going to have two climb classics back to back. Three on the season. Kick it to the up man here. One second left in regulation. Oh my goodness gracious. And that's going to do it for regulation. We're going overtime, boys, in the national championship game. Here in season number eight. Uh, didn't we go to overtime <laughs> in our national championship game against uh, Central Florida? I'm pretty sure we did. Come on, give us defense first. Let's go. It's over. We haven't got a sack since the first half, right? No, we got one on uh, near the goal line at the one-yard line. Oh, what a catch from Kirk. Double coverage. Draw play. Cantrell picks up two. Come on, let's just hold him to two points. Or three points. Come on. Come on, old man. Draw play again. Cantrell picks up five. Oh, 
Calderon gets the first down. Dang it. Oh, and it's a touchdown to Willis. Dang it. into the end zone. Their first possession of overtime. Extra point is up and good. All right, now we are on offense. 42-35 now. Sanford up the middle for six. Good start to the drive. And Sanford, does he move the chains? Yes, he does. Zone coverage here. And we're just going to take the yards with pace, get it up to about the seven. I'm not risking a pitch right there. No way. And there goes Sanford. Easy touchdown. speed. Both teams over 400 yards of offense now. Extra point up and good. 42 to 42. We're headed into our second overtime. In. Tight end, touchdown. One play, that's all we needed. Man, what a laser beam of a throw that was. Point up and good. 49-42. Defense taking the field. Can we stop them to win our second national championship game? And they're going to toss it. That's a big mistake as we blitzed on that side. Felderon loses five yards. And now we're going to blitz on the other side with Corbin May. Most of this defense are seniors, by the way. We're not going to see most of these guys next season. No way. What just happened there? Terrible tackling. Hey, what's up, Brandon? Don't embarrass you by losing this game. I'm trying my hardest, man. This has been a fantastic game. And they, oh my goodness, he had a touchdown. He pitched it out of bounds. That was insane.
pull back, and he's going to be stuffed short. Third and goal. And a QB sneak gets them in. They're an extra point away from tying it. Man. Come on, let's block this. <laughs> let's get a second extra point block on the season. That would be an insane way to win this. And the extra point is good. Dang. All right, overtime number three, ladies and gentlemen. 49-49 in the national championship game. All right, switching up the play here. And Calderon's going to pick up seven or eight. Man, I don't know what happened in the fourth quarter, but they turned it on as far as their running game goes. We haven't been able to stop them since. Goes the fullback. Oh my goodness. Why can we not stop the run game anymore? That is so insane. They had like three yards going into the fourth quarter. Something crazy. Oh, Woodard! Oh, baby! We got the pick! It's Woodard! Oh my goodness. A field goal wins us the game. A field goal wins it. Oh my goodness. And it's holding. No, come on. Murphy, my guy. What are you doing? That's a big right tackle. We're out of field goal range now. Thanks, Murphy. What a bum. Oh, that spin move was filthy. Oh my goodness. That was nasty. Oh, I don't want to do that play. Don't want that. Roy, oh my goodness, he actually was able to hang out of the football. That's his first catch of the game. Getting to the middle of the field here. I'd rather score a touchdown than actually have to kick a field goal. But we're kicking it right here. Rick Hayes on for the game winning field goal here in the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, California. We got it, boys. We are national champs. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we don't get to hear him talk. Oh, no. And that's the oh, there we go. Overtime thriller. Any final thoughts on this one, Coach? Well, it doesn't surprise me that this one went into overtime. Mississippi State was fortunate enough to come out on top of this one. But really, both teams deserve a lot of credit for a hard-fought game. Well, that'll wrap up another chapter in NCAA football. Holy smokes, boys! And again, our final score: Mississippi State 52, Oklahoma 49. We hope you enjoyed this game as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. So long, everyone. 52 to 49 is the final. Oh my goodness! I mean, that was one hell of a game. Let's take a look at the stats. We just claimed our second national championship 
in eight seasons. Man, we had five sacks in the first quarter, guys. We <laughs> or four sacks in the first quarter. We only got one the rest of the game. We were 0 for 7 on third down, and we won. That might be the most ridiculous stat I've ever seen. 1 for 1 on fourth down and for two-point conversions. We also had no turnovers. This is an instant classic on the channel. Man, what a game. We had five penalties, 75 yards. Whew. Man, look at that box score. <coughs> Thanks, Preshlock. It's a hell of a game, man. Man, they really turned it on at, in the run game. In that fourth quarter in overtime, we had no answer for them. Just couldn't stop them. Pace comes in. I mean, I feel so bad for Watson, senior quarterback throws one pass in the natty and gets injured for the whole game. But Cletus Pace came in, I mean, heck of a performance from him. 263 yards, three touchdowns. We might rock with him next season as our starter, but we do have Bond as well, the freshman from this year. Sanford, Harding, Ballard. So Harding and Ballard go out with touchdowns and go out champions. As they are seniors, we are losing most of our starters uh, after after this season. They're all they're all just going to be gone. Luckily, we get Sanford for two more years. He's a monster. 155 yards and a touchdown. Ryan Malone. <laughs> Ryan Malone. <coughs> Excuse me. The uh, Bolitnikoff winner had a touchdown. Chad Massey, a true freshman, had a touchdown. He had three in the SEC title game against Tennessee including the Hail Mary catch that sent us to overtime. Anderson had a touchdown, junior tight end. We'll see him again next season probably. We're losing, I think we're losing one lineman. Actually, I don't think we're losing a single lineman. Woodard, 10 tackles. He'll probably go pro. Singleton, he had eight. May with eight as well. We're, I think we're going to lose our front seven. Eleven tackles for a loss for the defense. Five sacks, all by different players. Interceptions for Woodard and Pruitt. Three deflections today. Forced fumble for Tony Calhoun. And Ken Robbins, the sophomore corner, blocking a punt in the natty. Second blocked kick for special teams this season. Rick Hayes, three for four field goals, long of 38. The game winner. We don't talk about that miss, though. That's fine. John White did pretty good. Net average kind of got messed up because that first punt was returned for a pretty good distance. Kick returns, we did decent. And nothing crazy on punt returns, as always. 52-49 is the final. We're definitely saving it directly after this. Stick around. We are doing the full offseason as well. If you guys are interested in all the recruiting and all that fun, happy stuff, You know, you guys can just watch the whole offseason and then go watch the NFL. I'm just, you know, I'm the buffer before the games. All right, there we go. Rose Bowl victory, baby. That's two seasons in a row we won the Rose Bowl. We'll take that. We'll also take that. Our second natty. Save everything. I do want to look at the roster real quick and show you guys, you know, our death chart and, and who exactly we're losing. Because next season, you know, season number nine, it might be a little bit rough. That's how many starters. We're losing our quarterback, first of all. We're losing Harding at fullback. We're losing Roy and Hawkins at receiver. I think that's it for offense. So that's four starters gone. And then on defense, we're losing all four defensive linemen. They're all seniors. We're losing... Our outside or our middle linebacker and our outside linebacker, Earl Singleton, and probably May to the draft. So we might lose our entire front seven, and we might lose Woodard and Pruitt to the draft as well. 
So our whole defense might just consist of Barry, who was a freshman this season, and Calhoun at corner, uh, who was a sophomore. <laughs> so it's, it might be a little bit rough. We're going to see a lot of new names out there, uh, a lot of new faces. Well, let's take a look at that real quick after we look at this, of course. <coughs> Three conference titles, two national titles, 89-20 and 20 career record for the head coach, Ralph Kress. We're on a 15-game winning streak. If we win six more in a row, we will break our record of 20 in a row. But a 14-0 season, hell of a job. One of my picks for the games today, I think... I think the Chiefs are going to win, and I think the Lions are going to win. But who do I want to win? I want the Bills to win, and I want the Bucks to win. <laughs> so I'm just going opposite, you know? All right, let's look at this depth chart here. So there we go. Watson, gone. Running back, we're good. We are losing Ballard as well, so we're losing our number two running back, which kind of sucks. Look at his stats for his career, though. Um... I think he had his best season this season, for, as far as yards. Uh, we're losing Harding. So, Watson, Ballard, Harding, Hawkins, Roy, they're all gone. We're losing James Brooks at tight end as well, but he was the backup, so that's not like a huge significant loss there. Our whole O-line is freshman, except for right tackle. I'm hoping Murphy stays for one more season. If not, we're good. We got Chapman here, who was the backup left tackle and right tackle this season. So, I'd be okay if we lost Murphy. Because our entire offensive line would be all sophomores next season. But here, here's where it gets really tough, okay? We're losing every single defensive lineman. Contreras and McRae, who was the backup, they're both gone. Well, McRae was a starter as well. Um, defensive tackle, Atkins, Cohen, they're all gone. We do have some decent depth here, though. But we're only going to get these two guys for one season each. We're losing Singleton. He's gone. We're losing Salazar. Gone. Senior. May, probably going to the draft. Corner. We're set at corner. We got a lot of youth there. We are losing Tiki Caldwell, who had a pick six in the game against Ole Miss to end up uh, helping us win that one. We're probably going to lose Pruitt, who's a 93 overall. And we're probably losing Woodard this season. We're also going to lose Dale Reed to uh, graduation or draft, whatever it may be. Uh, he was a 91 overall backup. So we're looking a little thin. <laughs> we're looking thin on defense. We also need a punter. John White is graduating or going pro. And Rick Hayes uh, will have him for one more season at least. But that's the roster, guys. It's it's going to be pretty dang thin uh, for season number nine. Uh, yeah, let's go. We'll look at the, um, the final top 25 for you guys real quick. UNLV finishes two. Maryland at three. We got three. Undefeated schools at the top. 1, 2, 3, 14 and 0, and 2, 13 and 0 teams. We also have 4, 12 and 1 teams. A lot of 10 win teams here. Seventeen teams won 10 games in the top 25. There might be might be teams, whoops, uh, there might be teams that won 10 games that are not ranked, you know, in smaller conferences. I'm not sure. Let's uh, <coughs> look at conferences here. Oops. ACC, Maryland won that pretty easily. I mean, that's top, <coughs> that's top heavy there. <coughs> Excuse me. Georgia Tech put up 434 points this season. But gave up 290 to me. Man, that's a heck of an offense there. We forced Duke, Cellar Dwellers, as, long as, as well as Clemson and Virginia. Ugh. But Maryland, six star program. Big Ten, Ohio State wins that one. Purdue went 9 and 4. So did Illinois. So pretty good seasons there. Northwestern, 1 and 10. Winless in conference play. Big 12, Oklahoma won it, of course. They beat Colorado. They put up 560 points this season. That's ridiculous. 
Big 12 is really good. They had six teams win nine or more games. Four of them won nine, two of them won 12. That's kind of crazy. It's seven teams go to bowl games, I think. Did Missouri go to a bowl game? Yes, they lost to... No, they didn't. They did not go to a bowl game. So six teams. Half their conference went two bowl games. Big East, Virginia Tech won that. Miami was second. Pitt, Boston College all had winning records. And then Temple. That's tough. Conference USA. Southern Miss running that conference pretty handedly. But they also had six teams that, that won six games or more. Notre Dame, 7-6. and six. Get out of here. So overrated. Marshall won 10 games. Akron won 9. Western Michigan won 9. Look at the Mac showing out. Seven teams won seven games. They all had winning records. And then there's Ohio. Mountain West, UNLV, undefeated. <coughs> they had four teams with winning records. Pac-10, they only had four. Pac-10 is looking rough. My goodness. Who's at the bottom here? Arizona State, 111. Cal, 2 and 10. Ugh. SEC 14 and 0 baby. We put up 531 points this season, only allowed 269. There's a look at the final stat leaders for offense and defense for us. Average attendance almost 50,000, so that's a packed house. And a couple win this team down here. Alabama Vanderbilt. What's going on, guys? What is going on? Alabama's a one-star program. Sun Belt, Mid Tennessee State, North Texas, and then that's that's it. The rest of this conference is absolute garbage. Lowack has three teams that won ten games or more. See Fresno State. So we had there was eighteen schools that won ten games. The Bulldogs were not ranked, and they were undefeated in their conference. So they had to won the WAC, right? I think. Yeah, they definitely won the whack. Tulsa, 0 11. Alright, well, that's it. That's it for the standings. Let's get to the offseason, boys. See if we can, uh, man, try to fill a lot of gaps on this roster right now. I don't even know what this is. Okay. Whoops. Players leaving. Oh, boy. Yeah, so we're losing our secondary. The good news is we're keeping Corbin May, okay? So returning starters on defense. Corbin May, um, Keyshawn Barry, and Tony Calhoun. That's it. That's the list, guys. <laughs> that is the list. So we have three starters returning for defense. We're losing... A lot of offense here as well. And obviously we're gonna we're gonna export the draft class. In case we ever decide to go back to our Houston Texans franchise, which we might. We might get back to it. But I I much rather uh, play college football. I've always been a college fan. All right, let's get the recruiting, boys. Let's see how many openings we have to fill here. I'm so happy we got a second natty. Man, that was well earned by that roster. If we weren't going to win it this season, I mean, we might we might not win again. We might not even get close to winning again with how depleted we are at the moment. Luckily... The entire offensive line is staying. Okay, so they're all going to be sophomores this season, except for our, our right tackle. He's going to be a senior. All right, what do we need? We need a lot. Let me write this down, because I'm going to forget, because I'm old. I'm an old man, guys. All right, fullback. Yada, yada, yada. DN, D tackle. I 
outside linebacker. Because, well, we're going to lose one. we got to fill the hole with um, that May's going to leave empty <coughs> after this coming season. Hey, what up, Jared? Missed a hell of a game, man. I'm going to write down middle backer. Strong safety and punter. Okay, those are the needs. Okay, let's go interested prospects first. Oh my goodness gracious, look at all these guys, all these five stars that are interested. We gotta go after somebody, right? Anybody fast? Nobody fast. That's alright. Cannon. Pinpoint accuracy from Louisiana. Do we got any Mississippi boys? Riley Richards. Strong arm pinpoint. I mean, we got to go after the Mississippi boy, right? I'm going to target this guy, too. Obviously, we're going to look at the running backs that are interested. 446, that has potential. Alright, we're gonna go after him. Because we did lose Ballard, so. Alright, what do we got here? Any any really fast guys? 441, excellent hands. Pretty big guy too, 61. <coughs> I'll go after him. Fullback. We need a 48840. 478. I'm going to go after both guys here, because why not? So we need a receiver. We have two juniors, two sophomores. We don't technically need one, but I'm going to go after one, because why not? 62208, that's a big dude. I like that. What do we got here? 435? That's a little guy. I like it, though. hands for him. Sure. We lost Brooks, so we got to fill that void a little bit. O-line. I don't really need O-line, but if we get five stars interested, I'm going after him. This guy is six foot seven, 320 pounds. I mean, I can't miss out on, on six, seven. I'm sorry. Man, that guy's a monster. Alright. So. Targeted 12 on offense. We got 13 for defense here. We need DNs. But Kerry Bullock will be our top guy here. We got a four-star guy, John Strouser. I like it. Looks good. What about you tackle? Yes, sir. Getting all the big heavies. Let's go. Any more four stars? No? I don't really want to go after a Juco guy. Yeah, I don't want him. Charles Snow? I love the name. What's his speed? Oh, boy. Oh, he's going to be nasty. Look at that speed, guys. Four six nine for a linebacker? What was Maze? I can't remember. It was like four five something He was so fast. Crazy. Middle linebacker. I gotta go after this guy. Even though we're second. Go after him for insurances. Can't believe we don't have... We're not number one on all these guys' lists. This is unacceptable. I'm gonna go after this guy too, though. Why not? Alright. Need a strong safety and a punter still. We got four available scholarships. These guys are too slow. That guy's not. 4-5-2. That's terrible for a corner. Alright. 4-4-6. Yes, sir. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. Got two available scholarships. 
four, four, eight. Need a punter, so Richard Taylor. Excellent and excellent. We're getting this guy. And it's just not even gonna be close. We got him. Alright, let's go. Advance to week two, boys. We are reloading. Give us like 10 commitments. Or just, you know, all 25. That'd be sick. Okay, We've got a bunch. Alright, so we got DN. Uh, Carry Bullock. <coughs> we got Jason Mullins at receiver. Charles Snow at outside linebacker. Thank you, sir. That guy's a beast. Lester Cannon at corner. Really fast. Seth Church, another receiver. Justin McCoy, halfback. Uh, Rashawn McNeil at tight end. And Greg Stevenson at D-tackle. And we got the punter, just like that. Okay. <laughs> First round, we already filled <laughs> all the team needs, boys. Oh, that's crazy. Couldn't have done that any better, honestly. All right, who'd we lose out on? That's what I really want to know. We didn't lose out on a single guy. What? If we can get a class of 25 right here, you know how insane that would be? I doubt it happens, though. This guy's probably going to go to Colorado. How many fullbacks did we target? Two? Okay. Did we get we did not get a commit fullback either. Okay, so we we really need this guy, Jeff Phillips. What is his? 47840. Good hands too. I like it. Just trying to reload it. All these positions. Even some that we already have really good players at. Never hurts to have good depth. All the points. It helps that a lot of these guys are from the, from the south too. All right. We used all our well, we didn't use all our points. We still had like 500 left. But everybody's <laughs> pretty close to us, so we're not spending a lot of points. Not really going out of state or out of our region too much. <coughs> Man, I am just dying right now. Who else is ready for winter to be over? I know I am. Come on, give us just the rest of them. Every commit. Oh my. We got both quarterbacks. We got the fullback. Five-star quarterback, five-star fullback, quarterback, halfback. Four star strong safety, middle linebacker, D tackle. My goodness gracious, boys, we are crushing it right now in recruiting. And we still have not lost out on a single guy. What? This might just be the best recruiting class of all time. Come on, boys, you know you want to sign. Come on now. got every single need. Yeah, we're all set. <laughs> I mean, oh, man. I think we're going to lose out on two guys. One guy's definitely going to Colorado, for sure.
tackle, right guard, right tackle. We got another fullback. We did go up north for that one guy from Wisconsin. Yeah, we finally lost out on that one guy from Colorado. I was really hoping we could get him. Dang. That's all right. Oh, we can go find one more commit to talk to, I guess. One more recruit. <coughs> I mean, look at this. <laughs> we have 924 points to use. That's crazy. Star kicker was excellent. Kick pot was once. Okay. I mean, that didn't make much sense. He's got excellent kick power and accuracy as a two star. Make that make sense. I mean, I'm probably not going to get him because it's week four, but still. That'd be kind of cool. make some tough cuts for the big recruiting class like this. We got that kicker. Oh my goodness. We miss out on another guy? out on Jimmy Watkins, middle linebacker, went to ECU. Get out of here. That's crazy. Well, he's from North Carolina. I guess that's not so crazy. Dude, just sign already, bro. Like, what are you waiting on? Come on, man. What's this guy looking like? 446? Another wide receiver? We don't need another wide receiver. Oh, man. know what we're looking at here. Look at the punters. Yeah, sure we'll go for a three star. See if the three star is better than the, the four star that we got. Give us 25 commits. Oh my goodness, we got them both. So we got 25 commits, I think, right? Five classes, obviously, we're number one. Yeah, we got 25 commits, a full class. UNLV gets the second best recruiting class with 10 five stars. Bruh, what? Oh my goodness. I just don't even know what to say. I mean, dang. All right, let's let's view our our signings here. Russell Larson, quarterback. We'll just go by position here. We got two quarterbacks. Not that we really needed them, but I mean, why not? It doesn't help to. Uh, it doesn't hurt to reload at positions. Got a, <laughs> a couple running backs. 4-4 <coughs> speed and both excellent hands. 
got our full backs that we needed. 478.40 for Jeff Phillips from Beecher, Michigan. And 4840 for Jason Gould from Bose, Alabama. Excellent hands for both of them. Receivers, 4-3 speed for both. And excellent hands. Uh, I'm really excited about that because I'm sick and tired of seeing drop passes all the time. One guy is 6'2", the other guy is 5'10". A little bit of a size difference there, but that's all right. Rashawn McNeil, four-star tight end. We're never going to find a fast tight end, unfortunately, but he's got excellent hands. O-line, five-star right tackle. And four-star right tackle. Both 164, 165. Pretty similar in size. Six foot seven, 320 pound guard, Steve Stein from Hanahan, South Carolina. It's also 320 pounds. No centers. We got our defensive ends that we needed. Gary Bullock, five star prospect, 6'3, 251. Bench is 430. And John Strouser, four star, 6'3, 255. He benches 375. D tackle, we are stacked now. Wayne Banks from Wisconsin. He benches 500 pounds. He's 6'2, 316 pounds. Greg Stevenson benches 480. And Ross Sullivan benches 450. I'm really excited about this guy. Charles Snell. He's probably going to be the starter at left outside linebacker, filling in for the now graduated Earl Singleton. <coughs> About 469 speed, that's crazy. Bit of linebacker, Ted Cameron. We didn't get the five star that I wanted, but this guy's equally good. 46940. And a pretty good size, 6'3, 222 pounds from Rockwood, Tennessee. Lester Cannon. Didn't really need a corner. I just got four hands, but he runs 4340. And I'm I'm just fine with that. No free safety. So I'm not sure. I can't remember who's going to be the starter next season. But we did get two strong safeties. Todd Gray, five-star out of Arkansas, and Dan Becker out of Rhode Island. Gray with a 4-4-6, 40-yard dash. Excellent hands. Six foot, 206 pounds. And Becker, 5'11", 193. Excellent hands for him. 4 4 8 40. Got a kicker. I'm not sure if he's actually going to be good or not. But he's got excellent power, ex excellent accuracy. And both of our, our punters that we got, I mean, we'll see who's better. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll just go from there, I guess. Stack recruiting class, though. 25. 25 commits. Finish the whole off season. We'll get our our season nine schedule all set up and ready to go. I don't know if we're gonna make it a gauntlet like we did last season. I definitely we're going to Hawaii again. Actually, should we? Yeah, we're gonna go to Hawaii again. That was a classic game last season. I'd like to see if we can uh, beat them a little bit, <laughs> a little bit more soundly this season. Probably not, but. We'll see. All right. Go by position here. Clean his pace. 94 overall. Redshirt senior. So it's looking like pace is going to be the guy going forward. His stats for last season, it was 0 for 1. But, I mean, the postseason doesn't count. Count the stats. So we had three touchdowns in that game to help us win. And let's see. Bond. And Ferguson pulls up to 86. Sanford up to 88 overall. His awareness went up 11. Oh my goodness. And strength went up 2. <coughs> Catch went up 4. Man. Break tackle went up 5. Okay. Anything else? Stamina up 3. Nice. Not bad. That's pretty good running back. Richard Sr., uh, Clarence Weber and retro freshman John Yates. Yates will probably get cut, so don't get too used to seeing his name. 
Sandoval, fullback, he's pretty decent. Only went up two overall, though. Receivers, Ryan Malone, 92 overall junior now. Chad Massey, 86 overall. Desmond Dale, 82. And Howard Joyner, only went up two to an 81. Tight end, Anderson, 91 overall. Skip Kraft, 82. Willie Mullen, up to a 76. <laughs> Our offensive line is going to be so stacked in a couple seasons. Season 10, we might be extremely good, guys. Season 9, it might be a little rough. We're going to be pretty young everywhere. Left guard, 85. Center, 87 and 85. Right guard, only a 79. Come on, Lyle, what are you doing? 98 overall, RJ Murphy at right tackle. Chapman, we'll get a starting spot for him somewhere. 89 overall. We're probably going to throw him at that right guard spot, most likely. Defensive ends, we only had one returning. Chris Williams, he goes up 5 with 78 overall. Dan Neal, 94 at D tackle. And Terry Marks, 91. Jason Colton up to an 84. And left outside linebacker, Ruben Mason. Probably going to be the guy going forward here at middle linebacker. We redshirted him last season. Overall went up 8 to an 87. That is extremely impressive. Awareness plus 10. What's his tackle? What's your tackle looking like, brother? 82. And Alan Campbell is pretty good right behind him with 85 tackle, 85 overall as well. But just overtook him. I mean, Mason was 2 overall behind Campbell, and now he's 2 ahead. <laughs> That's a pretty big turnaround. Uh, without even playing a single snap last season. Corbin May up to a 93 overall, and Jason Larson only up to a 78. Corners, Ken Robbins is the number one guy right now. He went up six. The other guys didn't really go up a whole lot. We might have to stick Calhoun uh, back in the nickel spot. He wasn't extremely impressive last season. Uh, only had two picks and nine deflections, so... I might get Robbins out there as the one and keep Barry as the two uh, going forward. Free safety, uh, Marvin Kennedy, redshirt junior. Okay, so that's going to be our guy uh, this coming season. And Rob Sandoval, he's the backup, 82 overall. And no strong safety, so we will have a freshman out there, strong safety. Kicker Rick Hayes up to an 86. What is his kick power and accuracy? 80 and 98. So really good accuracy. Power, not so much. All right, that's it for the training. Let's see how many players we have to cut now. We have to cut eight guys. We got some really good freshman quarterbacks here. 81, 80 overall. What's the throw power and accuracy looking like? Oh, boy. I'm sorry, Riley, but uh, we're going to have to get rid of you, brother. That's terrible. I mean, that is, that's trash. 73 power. Bro, I'm sorry. I know that was a five-star quarterback, but he's garbage. Sometimes you'll have that, though. You know, you just find a bust. And we are going to get rid of Yates, just like I mentioned before. 79 speed. And he doesn't really, he doesn't really offer anything else. He's got a good break tackle. He's got 52 tackle. He's got the best stamina. Oh man. <coughs> well, might cut Weber here. Redshirt McCoy. Smith and keep Yates. We can use Yates as uh, like Robbie Ballard. That's what we're going to do. We're going to get rid of Weber. The redshirt senior, I don't really care about him that much. Alright, fullback, we're definitely going to be redshirting probably both of these guys. See what they do as far as training and, and how far they progress in the next offseason. Wide receivers. We're pretty good at receiver. I mean, we are kind of stacked right here. Desmond Dale is 6'2". He looks so small on kick return. 
I really like these receivers. I'd like to keep all of them, honestly. Alright, what do we got here? 59 speed. This is the fastest tight end I think I've ever seen. Willie Mullen. O-line. Uh, James Anderson. 72 overall. Not good enough. Get out. Keep these guys. See what they... See what we got at the other spots here. Defensive end. Here's our freshman. So we're, we're pretty light at D-end right now. Just 78 overalls. So we'll have to work on that. <coughs> Here's our freshman D tackles we got. Uh, they're pretty dang good. 95 strength for Terry Marks. That's impressive. Outside linebackers. Middle linebacker. I'm really impressed with Mason going up 8 overall to claim that starting spot. Corner. 86 speed corner. Get out. Not fast enough, sorry. Might do pretty good with uh, with Kennedy this season at, at free safety. I'm really surprised that uh, that Pruitt went pro, actually. Todd Gray, 87 speed strong safety. He's got big shoes to fill. Filling in for Woodard. All right, let's look at our, our kicking situation here. So I'm, I'm pretty sure the awareness is what's killing this kicker. What's his power and... Kick power, 83. Kick accuracy, 81. Eh, I don't know if we should keep him. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to cut him. He was just a two-star. All right, let's look at punter. See who's better. They're both 76 overall. Taylor's got better awareness, but what about kick power, kick accuracy here? So it's the awareness that's keeping Taylor ahead of Floyd. They're both 6'2", 200 pounds as well. I mean, I could keep either one, really. I'm going to keep Floyd. All right, how many more we got to get rid of? We got to cut two more players. It's got to be a fullback, right? We got a lot. We don't need three fullbacks. Yeah, we're going to cut Gould. All right, one more cut. Man, Jason Mullins, true freshman receiver. That's the fastest receiver I think we've ever had. we got to try to get him on the field. I'm probably going to put him in the slot where, where Massey was last season and keep Desmond Dale at the four. I think, I think Church is going to get buried on this depth chart. 70 catch, too. Sorry, Church. All right. Well, that was a big time. We have 30 freshmen on the roster, boys. 41 underclassmen and just 14 upperclassmen, which is it's kind of ridiculous. Let me write that down. That's a nice little stat for the season. So 30... 11, 7, and 7. Man. And a lot of new starters coming up for this season as well. Alright, let's set the depth chart.
right, Cletus Pace is going to get the start for us. We're going to have Bond as the two. Sanford is obviously the starter. He had a hell of a season as a freshman. Mike Smith, number two running back. I think we're going to redshirt McCoy. Actually, I think we're going to put McCoy as the two. You know, we're going to lose Sanford's speed when he's, when he's off the field. I'd like McCoy to get some carries for that 92 speed. Fullback, obviously, Sandoval's going to be the guy. Receivers, Malone, Massey, and a Joiner as the two. No, that's not what I want. Mullins as the two. There we go. Or three. Tight ends. We have three tight ends. Four tight ends, actually. But Skip Kraft and Willie Mullen, <laughs> those are going to be the two guys uh, in season 10. Left tackle, Chris Harris. Left guard is going to be, okay, we have enough backups to do this. Wait, what are we doing? Left guard, center, really young, really good O-line. We're going to start Chapman at right tackle over Lyle Good. Because why not? 98 overall right tackle. I don't know if I should put him at left tackle. That's fine. Defensive ends, we are pretty weak there. Kerry Bullock, going to get the start, uh, the start at left end. And then Strouser, he'll be the backup. Right end, Chris Williams, the red shirt freshman. And do we have a right end? We do not. We only have three defensive ends. Williams, Bullock, Strouser. That's, that's a little rough, only having three. Uh, D-tackle, we have some good depth now, though. Got all those freshmen. We're going to redshirt some guys, too. Left outside linebacker. Carl Snow. Not good enough to be the starter, so we might redshirt him. The linebacker's pretty good. Right outside linebacker's good. corner. I think this is what we're going to do this season. I think we're going to keep this. I want to get Calhoun on the field, though. We're going to get him out there on, on punt return. Free safety. Marvin Kennedy gets the start. Todd Gray starting. True freshman. Strong safety. Kicker. Rick Hayes. Senior. Punter. Pete Floyd. True freshman. Kick return. I definitely want speed out here, so let me get some speed. Let's get Mullins and Calhoun, 92 and 99, and then we'll get Calhoun on the punt turn. Because that could be pretty nasty. Let's get McCoy out there. You know what? I'm going to get McCoy out there on, on kick return instead of Mullins. I don't want Mullins to get hurt. If a running back gets hurt, I mean, that's okay. We have plenty of guys out there. All right, preseason options. Let's redshirt some guys real quick. Russell Larson, five-star quarterback. Man, we'll redshirt Mike Smith. He's not going to get much playing time. Jeff Phillips. We're going to keep the receivers as is. Tight ends. McNeil. Hopefully that speed goes up in the offseason. Lloyd. Stein. Yeah, we can't even redshirt at the end. <laughs> Alright, we'll redshirt at the bottom two. He tackles. So Banks, he'll get some playing time. Uh, outside linebacker. Oops, I'm going to redshirt Snow. Because we'll probably move him to right outside linebacker for 
for next season. If Cameron gets the red shirt, corner, we can't. Free safety, you can't. Strong safety, kicker, punter. That's it. Custom schedules. They want us to play the Mac. I'm not doing it. Miami, Ohio. Do we want to go Hawaii again? Yeah. I'm going Hawaii again. We're traveling. Alright, how many home games do we have for conference play? One, two, three, four. So we can have two, two home games here. Fresno State, they're top 25. I want to see how good Rice is. They were nasty last season. We're probably going to lose to them, honestly. Where's UNLV? UNLV, they went undefeated. Hopefully we can beat them. Probably not. <laughs> we'll try it, though. I know these are all small schools, guys, but they're all ranked. Uh, I mean, except for Hawaii. And UNLV just had the number two ranked class, so I don't want to hear any hate in the comments, all right? I'm scheduling big-time teams. I'm pretty sure Rice and UNLV are both six-star programs. Middle Tennessee State, I think, is a four or a five. But they're all ranked. Let's take a look at the preseason top 25. And it makes sense that they're ahead of us. Uh, we lost most of our starters. So, we be number two to start. And we're looking a little rough, to be honest with you. Yeah, see North Texas up here, UTEP, UNLV. I mean, they're riding a pretty good win streak right now. Dating back two seasons ago. Middle Tennessee State, they're ninth. Marshall up there, Rice at 19. See, they're a five-star program. I didn't want to schedule Fresno State. I'm pretty sure we played them before a few seasons back. But yeah, Rice, they're five-star. <coughs> and what are the other two schools? Middle Tennessee, five-star. Six-star UNLV. So. And let's see. Yeah, this is just alphabetical. It's not any prediction or anything. I just want to see. Where's the Hawaii? Am I tripping? I want past Mars. There we go. Yeah, Hawaii. They're only a two-star, but I mean, we had a classic with them last season. So I would really like to see if we can beat. Oh, they got to face Oklahoma in their first game, and then us. So one and two back to back. That is rough. All right, time to make a statement of the poll. Show them your team is for real. 15-game winning streak. Two-time national champions. The Mississippi State Bulldogs are three-time SEC winners. And we are heading into season number nine. And I hope you guys enjoyed the Natty. What a game that was. Triple overtime. I'm pretty sure our first national title game against UCF was also triple overtime if I'm not mistaken. That was a classic as well. Uh, let's see let's see how we can do with you know a really, really young team. We have 41 underclassmen and a lot of new starters coming back or coming out this season. Um, let's see, how many returning starters do we have for offense? We have seven returning on offense and technically just two for defense because we moved Calhoun to the nickel corner. So we got a new starter at that number one spot. So only two returning starters on off or on defense, which is ridiculous. So nine returning starters from a national championship roster, and this season might be a little bit rough, but we're gonna we're gonna do our best, of course. Hopefully you enjoyed this one, guys. I know I did. And I will catch you all in the next one. Don't forget to slap that like button, subscribe if you're new and join the Discord community. There's a link in the description below for that. And, you know, follow me on Twitter. It's in there, too. Until next time, guys, take it easy.